Good evening. This is a take number two for me with this question, just because I accidentally deleted a perfectly fine video before. Oh well, okay. So <laughs> I'll try not to do that this time, and actually upload it before I delete it. So I'm just gonna, to get started, convert tan squared x into sine squared x over cos squared x. And why can I do that? Because tan of x is equal to it doesn't look like an equal sign. Sine of x over cos of x. And if I square it, I have to square both. There we go. Anyways, okay, so I want to combine the sine squared x over cos squared x and the 1. And to do that, I'm going to have to multiply the 1 by cos squared x over cos squared x to get a common denominator. And I'm just going to leave the top like that for now. And the bottom's gonna look like sine squared x minus cos squared x, because it was minus one cos squared x, but yeah, we know there's a hidden one there. All over cos squared x, which is the combined denominator. Okay, so now what I can do is I can actually multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Because every time that we divide by a fraction, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So we have 2 squ sine squared x minus 1 all over cos squared x over sine squared x minus cos squared x. Great. Okay. So we can actually now make it into just sort of a common fraction here and put everything at the top. So we have 2 sine squared x minus 1 <laughs> times cos squared x. And all over this guy, sine squared x minus cos squared x. But now everything seems and looks somewhat simplified, right? Can we do anything else? Well, I always get skeptical every time that I see a sine squared x or a cos squared x because of this. I know that sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. So I could actually rewrite this cos squared x as. Oops, I meant to write cos squared x. If I throw the sine squared x to the right side of the equation, I get 1 minus sine squared x. What is, th is that going to do anything? Hopefully. Now, the bottom will look a lot familiar, really f <laughs> familiar with, the, with this part right here. And how was I able to recognize that? Well, sometimes we have to, you know, tweak around uh, is that even a, an expression, tweak around? I guess so. Just basically plug things around to see if something works out nicely. And this is one of those cases. That's my reasoning behind it. Not very solid, is it? But, but I guess sometimes we just have to be somewhat creative. Hopefully that makes sense, though. If not, you can write me an email or something. Um, okay, so top remains the same. The bottom um, minus 1, so the negative sort of distributes here, and minus minus becomes a positive right here, so positive sine squared x. And look at that. The bottom of the fraction, the denominator, is going to become sine squared x plus sine squared x, 2 sine squared x, minus 1. And we can actually cancel these guys out, and we end up with cos squared x. Okay, well, who would have known? Um, again, why did I choose to just randomly switch the cos squared x into that? That's a good question. Um, another way to explain why is, or how to see it, is that both the top and the bottom can actually be simplified into, let me see if I'm correct here, but I believe cos of negative cos of 2x. Let me just quickly show this to you guys, even though we're, we're done the question. Cos 2x is equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x. And it's also equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So if I multiply the bo um, both sides of the equation here, I get negative cos 2x equals sine squared x minus cos, cos squared x, which is exactly what we had here. 
And if I multiply this by negative 1 as well, I get negative 1 plus 2 sine squared x, which is exactly that guy. So being able to recognize that this was negative cos 2x is a little bit tricky, but with practice, we may it, it becomes easier for us to see that. Same thing with the bottom here. So hopefully that made sense. For similar questions, please visit this website. Oops, I just scratched it over, basically. And hopefully it will all come together and make great sense. Thank you.